said they have not received any money. They are not giving out. I thought they were lying until I, I came here to notice that nothing is going on, no transaction. What is going on? This is complete sabotage. Few days to the presidential elections, and we are witnessing, witnessing, witnessing this. Who is doing this? Who is doing this? For no plan, if you know that you are going to collect almost how many? One trillion. You could have produced one point something trillion. New notes. You have all the time. What are we talking about? Few days to the presidential election, we are doing that. I, I see it as complete sabotage. And those in charge must, as a matter of urgency, do the needful. I understand JS Bank is receiving money, is giving out money. Few branches they have across Nigeria. Where did JS Bank get all this money? Why are big banks like Zenit, UBA, and other big banks, you know, just they're just sitting down? What is happening? This is complete sabotage, and we cannot take it. And here to take money, they say there's no money. What is going to happen to ordinary people? If gold rusts, what will iron do? UBA, Zenith, Press Bank, if gold rusts, what will iron do? If gold rusts. What we iron do. <laughs> Serious matter. So according to Business Day, continued scarcity of Naira notes and petrol in Africa's most populous nation is crippling several businesses, now especially in the informal sector. Analysts are estimating a 20% drop in sales for consumer goods and 30% uh, for cement manufacturers as the, um, the shortage of fuel and the new notes worsen. Now the tension is rising and the people are angry. So what really is happening to our nation and why is no one um, in the position of power saying or doing anything about it? So a large majority of the country's population is currently suffering from the brute and we truly want to know how the Naira scarcity is affecting Nigerians, how is it affecting you? Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp 081 803 You can also tweet at us at Wisho Africa One with the hashtag Wisho. All right, ladies. Let me start with Chinelo. Right? Maybe I'll come to you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but let me start with you, Chinelo. Um, Maybe we should answer the questions first, how it's affecting us, before we then now see how we have seen it affect Nigerians. How is this narrow scarcity affecting you? So I thought this thing was a joke. Mm. I think about four days ago or so, I, myself and my friend, we tried to withdraw cash. Normally, if we withdraw, I don't remember the last time I used an ATM, by the way. I will usually just go to the POS, because I hate those queues on the, the ATM queues. So I will usually just go to the POS and then, we draw 5,000 naira for 100 naira, you know, 10,000 naira for 200 and all of that. And so when I think I was trying to buy foil that day, and then the, the POS wasn't working, so I had to use the POS. And the guy said to me, well, it wasn't my friend that went first, and then she came back and said, this guy must be stupid. Can you imagine? He was going, and when I went off, I was like, is he mad? I said, please, let's go somewhere else. And then I went somewhere, that one, I got there for me, and it's that one to us to me, oh, madam, 5,000 naira is 500. And I was like, Wait, what is happening? Why are you guys extorting us like this? And I went on and on. And the guy, he didn't even, he, didn't, he did not even blink. Hmm. He was like, if you don't want, you go. So I didn't have a choice but to, you know, pay. And then two days later, I started hearing, yes, if you want to collect 5,000 naira, you have to pay 500 naira. If you want to collect 10,000 naira, you need to pay 1,000 naira. And it didn't make any sense to me. Then I said, okay, maybe we should try the ATM queues. <laughs> And then, just like she said, what's happening in um, Aquaibom now? It literally is happening there in Jakonde. You go to the, the queues, and then they are watching how much it is yeah, that you are withdrawing. Mm. You can't, not even police or, you know, um, the military. Even personnel. the people, they people that are withdrawing money. They're like, Madam, no, you, you cannot withdraw yes, 10,000 naira. You mm. cannot do more than 5,000 naira. And I'm just wondering, what is going on? How, how did we get here? How mm. did we go from... Ah, oh my goodness, it's, 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 so me personally, it is affecting me in so many ways, 
usually i'll go to places where you know i can just easily transfer to them or they have pos people around just call them i can't do that anymore even at the salon now to open the bank app safe mm. is that one i do not even understand how is all of this now affecting us you know transferring money and you know doing tra online transactions so it's affecting you greatly mary hmm? Is it not hard? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah, it hasn't really affected me like that. Why I'm missing having cash is today I was going on the road and I saw Bolly and I could not buy it because I did not have cash. But to be, I wanted to stop to ask for who has account so I could transfer to them because my colleague said that today she was coming and she saw Udara and she told the woman, ah, okay, I want to buy 3,000 worth of Udara. And the woman got POS, like those POS people to get and they transfer to her. Basically, the whole point is to be a cashless society. And I can feel it because the people who are going to suffer it are people who, you know, the get men who get tips mm -hmm. here and there, you know, so I don't have that loose cash to easily give out. But um, so far, so good. The Zenith Bank has been, their app is fairly okay. POS has been working. So the same I bank that somebody said they took his $12,000. <laughs> You know, so 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 I never knew how valuable one thousand naira or five hundred naira was <laughs> until now. Like so, so today I was I was I was somewhere, and you know I, I gave the person a thousand naira because it was we we're discussing, so he wanted to check out some detail. He said this is the first time mm. that he's touching this one thousand naira, the new one thousand. This is supposed to, supposed to be somebody that has money. That is the first time he's touching the one thousand naira. No, that can you imagine that? But for him right is beneficial to him because before everybody that comes to his office yeah. is always doling out yeah. money yeah. now you say ah there's no money oh. exactly there's no cash oh. exactly. <laughs> you know so at least he's saving his money right but at the same time right for for some strange reason you know i just feel like these people do not understand the uh, catastrophe that's about to happen but let me hear um jennifer's how it's affecting you personally then mm. we now talk about the general one uh, so for me personally, I don't deal in cash. Ah, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't deal in cash. Um, I think for the past two weeks, I've actually not had like physical cash. I had to withdraw on what was that? I think I was on Tuesday, upper week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was when I had to actually withdraw cash, and I was able to use it. Then um, two days ago, I was on the road and I saw these guys hawking um, popcorn. And I still had the old 200 naira note. So before I even paid, I had to ask the guy, "Are you sure you collect this money?" He said, "Yes, yes. Why not? It is money." I said, "Take, thank you. At least you take it off my hands." <laughs> but I didn't know that because I was in a boat. But by the time I got to my destination, I couldn't do transfer. I couldn't do anything. So like my bank apps, my Access wasn't working, UBA wasn't working, and those are the only two apps that I had. It wasn't they working. They called their bank name before they think so with it. They tried to <laughs> attack them, but this is not an but attack. It, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it, was, it wasn't working. And I just sat there, I was looking at the many cash I had. I said, ah, I'm not sure I want to give this guy this cash. Because once I give it to him, that's the end. Meaning, if my bank app isn't working tomorrow and I don't have that cash with me, there's nothing I can do. I work from morning to night. What time do I have to actually go to the bank to start withdrawing, to start withdrawing or queuing on the line just to collect what two thousand naira? Ah, uh, so let me give you my experience. So yesterday I had something major I needed to pay for um, in, in, at the bank, and it's not the kind of payment that have an account number. So you need to, so you can't transfer. So you need to walk into a banking hall. Yeah. I got to a particular bank. I I was filling myself with ATM card. I say okay, cashless society, no. and I went there. Oh, well, when I went in, Madam said, "Sorry, you. Is it that you have a, an account with us in our bank, or you um, you probably use a third party account?" I said, "I don't understand. I don't have an account in your bank, but CBN is preaching cashless, mm -hmm. right? Why can't I use my card? You have so I then called my sister that works in the bank for, for many years before she moved into um, fintech services. Mm -hmm. She said that every bank has a retainer account, so they should be able to receive money from a, a, yes a third a third party bank." Mm -hmm. Keep it in return and I can then now do their in-house reconciliation later. The lady said she was not ready to do that. Oh my, I had to call Logal of the Ogao. You understand? And thankfully, he just said, you know what? Let them debit 
his own account because I needed to make that payment mm. and there was no option. So while I was there, two ladies came in. They were feeling pang, sexy, pretty ladies. And they said, oh, they came to withdraw money. The lady said, she was just looking at them <laughs> at the counter. First of all, all the bank staff, they were outside. They, with their neck, you, you, would you ever see bank staff just Don't loafing around? It, no. They were outside. Then the ones that were inside, the lady was looking at okay, no problem. We'll give you 3,000 naira each. The two ladies looked at each other. <laughs> 3,000 naira each, it was 50-50 uh, okay. naira. So by the time I went, because the transaction took a bit, mm. and I came back, they had even reduced that 3,000 naira they were giving because they were counting 20 naira, dirty 20 naira notes. They were giving people to 2,000 naira. That's all they were giving them. Then by the time I went back to the bank, it was 1,000 naira they were giving. They were no longer even giving 2,000 naira. So I didn't ask the lady at the counter, do you understand what is going on? Most of these people don't have cars. I will, dra I will take transport fare. Oh, Let's even say, okay, being, being realistic, 200 naira, which I'm very sure is more than mm -hmm. that. Because transport is on the hike because of fuel, um, um, fuel, pri uh, fuel being on the hike and the scarcity. Mm -hmm. So these people will use 200 naira or maybe 400 naira to transport themselves to collect 1,000 naira in the bank. What's the difference between you people and the POS vendors? <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And so this is, for me, I think the insensitivity. Yeah. You, before you put in a policy, and this is where my anger, I went on, on, on Instagram, I started doing different videos. My anger is, I do not have any problem with Mary's philosophy of, of cashless yes. society. Mm -hmm. But you see, cashless society can only work in a society that is ready to be cashless. Yes, Our right. society is not ready to be cashless. We have a lot of things that we still depend heavily on cash. So you cannot put a policy that is cashless for a society that is heavily dependent on cash. Mm -hmm. Now, they say Jay's Bank, because that's the only bank I hear that has money. But they, they have limited branches, yeah. right? So what are they getting right? Why are they putting the, the, the why are they loading their ATMs? Why can't other banks follow suit? Now, the, the question of where me and Mary entered fights was the people spraying money. Where did those, where did those people get the, mm -hmm. the money that they are spraying? Yeah. When the people that really need money don't have money. So all of these things are the things that just beats my imagination. Even for wealthy people, mm. billionaires, they can't even get 20,000. The least, the, some of them, the, the, the best they can get is like 10,000 naira, right? So they have 10,000 naira. You, that is a, what's it called, a POS vendor, you are holding a um, stack of bundles of cash. Where did they get that money if they are not conniving with the commercial banks? I don't know. So commercial banks are saying that CBN did not release funds. CBN is saying that they released funds. It's the commercial banks that are holding the phone. Who then will believe? Joey Bokwe talking there. It is taking it political. It's a sabotage. sabotage. Something that is approaching the elections. No, because there is a lot unfolding at the same time. Whilst we are happy about this particular election, mm. if this trend continues, we are happy that it will not be a money politics like mm. business as usual. Because now there's no uh, money to pay for voters mm -hmm. uh, to, to sell their votes. Mm. Whilst we are happy about that, what about the, uh, the ripple effect of how the everyday person is hungry on the street. Mm. There are people that live on daily income. Yeah. They don't have yeah. accounts. Yeah. They don't have accounts. Those wheelbarrow truck pushers, how much is their bill? Mm. 500 naira, 200 naira. The people that are carrying load in the market, mm -hmm. how much mm -hmm. is their bill? 200 naira, they take your load today. So all those ecosystems is the problem. You understand? That yeah. is what, and those are the people that any little agitation. You saw yeah. the video of the guys at the bank Fighting, taking whatever and, and trying to hit each other. The lady I took her video yesterday that stripped naked in the bank. I said they should give her her money. She's not been able to pay her children's school fees. Do you understand? So the, 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 the overarching effect is, is too heavy. A thing. So we need to find a solution and let these funds be released back into the system. It is so unheard of that we are using Naira to it's buy funny. Naira. <laughs> okay, I rest my case. <laughs> Can I, I, I took a screenshot. I took a screenshot today. Uh, I saw something on my um, on Instagram. So it, um, a girl had complained that she had spent. Uh, she paid five thousand Naira just to collect fifty thousand Naira from a POS vendor. Thank you. And someone else now said, oh, that she oh, she was supposed to collect sixty thousand, and then they billed her ten k. So she sent the guy 60 and the guy gave her 50,000 naira. That's, I mean, 
Look at the disparity. So a whole ten k. Our naira is even more just, expensive than dollar. Yes. Now. Just gone. The the caller that called from Portacot on Tuesday, Charles said he, he for twenty thousand he paid twenty seven thousand. That's after bego because it was twenty eight thousand. They said. So do you understand what 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 is happening? Yes, yeah. In as much as we want to do cashless, like you said. The wheelbarrow guys, there are people who sell um, pure water just by the stand. Mm -hmm. Are they supposed to also have POS? Transfers. Okay, somebody wants to buy what? Okay, I want to buy 100 naira coin. I will transfer to you. And then they will charge you for that transfer. So, that you're so that's why I said, and that was what I was, she's looking at me with corner eye. That was what I said to Mary that before you say you want to do cashless, you must create an account for those people that it is zero naira transaction. Yes. Do you understand? Because that is all they know. They deal in cash. So when the corn roaster collects her money that she has gotten from all of us that bought corn, she takes that cash straight to the market, buys fresh corn for the next day. Mm -hmm. The transaction is in and out. I was hungry the other day. I had to gather money from Malero, from uh, Omolola to buy because I, I had not eaten all day for them to buy me something to eat. So these women, they don't collect transfers. Let's why, why can they get an account? Why can they open They cannot get an account because your account, if I paid a hundred naira coin, the bank will probably it's take maybe 10 naira or 5 naira. That eats into their profit. It is not sustainable. And bear in mind that, that you want to do a transfer. Sometimes these bank apps are not working. So you're going to wait for them to, for them to actually receipts. confirm that they have gotten mm. their transfer. And you won't leave. So imagine you're rushing somewhere. You will have to actually wait. And if I was if I was a vendor, I'm not, you will wait until I've seen it. Because even yesterday, you, yesterday um, a transaction was made. I didn't get it. I knew that it was later. I went to I went to my balance and I saw that oh yeah, I've been credited. It reflected. But, but you don't get the alert. Get the alert. That's what so that's been happening know. lately. Yes. Yes. And if if the person who sent me the money had not actually sent me proof of payment, you I wouldn't have it. known. Mm -hmm. Let's not even forget the part of fraud, mm. where people go to people and create false alerts. Do you understand? I mean, we, we heard the story of the man that sold his car to some fraudsters. They generated a false, um, what's it called, um, receipt. receipt and everything. Mm -hmm. Sent it to him. It was after they left that he realized yes. that that was a false transaction. So even our online system, banking mm -hmm. system, has a, a very heavy lace mm -hmm. of fraud. What have people been complaining about? Money is just disappearing from their from accounts. Their accounts. So, there is, so our economy right now is not really not ready. ready you know, for full-blown cashless. So we must be able to accommodate everybody. I mean, you mentioned I, now, you mentioned earlier, sorry, yeah. you mentioned earlier that they were giving 1,000 naira. Now, we know people that work in VI, but they live at Oba, yeah. thank you. or Bega. And do you know how many stops they have to take? So if I have just 1,000 naira, how am I going to finally get to my house? So that means you're going to get stranded on the road. You get to a point where you just have to come down and start walking to your house. And that's very unfair. Let me it's take really your unfair. comment, Jennifer. They will take. I mean, um, will well, take I was a break. going to say maybe they should start doing vouchers. I remember when I was in school, they didn't used to allow us to use cash to do anything. But then, if you have ten thousand naira, you go to the what they call it now. Mm. You go and buy vouchers worth ten thousand yeah. naira, and then you can now use those vouchers to buy whatever. So if they know that they're not ready to let this money circulate or something yeah. like that, create that kind of let the the you know the people that are selling on the road, the people that live on their daily wages. Give them vouchers. So if I go to buy something, let it be, let it be as legal. Ex ex exactly. Yeah. That, that's another. That I mean, that's an option if we are saying that we want to go cashless completely. Create these vouchers. The, how much you take create the voucher? Ah, I don't the <laughs> no, that question, now nah, because they will tell you now, nah, say they use fifty million. They <laughs> produce vouchers. <laughs> Maybe we don't go there. <laughs> this country is a pure cruise. All right. Thanks for staying with us. And um, if you just tuned in to our Ladies' Night Out and we are discussing the topic, how is this naira scarcity affecting Nigerians? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow, Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. Our phone line is now open. The number to call is 70 That's the number to call. Remember the rules. Turn off the volume of whatever device you're watching us from then. Try to keep your conversations within 60 seconds so we can have as many people call into the conversation. I mean, it's interesting because we're talking about how the Naira scarcity is affecting Nigerians. Naira scarcity has spiraled into even the fuel scarcity, right? Before the Naira scarcity, if you wanted to buy 10 liter fuel, because I remember there was a day I was running low on fuel. I just decided, you know what, let me try my luck. Because I always have 
somewhere I get fuel. But let me just try and ask, because it's, it's for information purpose. I said, how much is 10 liters? He said 4,005, meaning that he was selling it at 450 naira per liter, mm -hmm. right? Now that, yes, you, 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 they do like this. Now you understand my pain. Why I was screaming that day. So now that there is naira scarcity on top of the fuel scarcity, I've not asked how much, but I am very sure. Okay. You can imagine. That was how much you bought fuel. I had to transfer. Okay. You know, I, it I, transfer what? It took forever, Mary. I don't know what is your own with this, with this with this transfer issue. No, because normally that filling station, what they would even they have the POS attendants usually around, you know. But I noticed that today they had maybe just one person. Mm. Usually you have, they have about maybe two or three people. There was just mm. one person. And I looked at the lady and I said, okay, because what I was doing, the amount of oil I was buying was a lot. I also that you know what? Well, let me just do a transfer to you. So it was a very big risk. Yeah. So GG, but GG, let me GG, take Obina. Mm. Obina from Gombe, I believe. Yeah. Hi. Thank you for calling. You're live. Thank you very much for allowing me to air my view on the topic. Go ahead. The cashless policy. Mm. Yes. We are on it already, and there is no going back. I was listening keenly to the, to the analysis you guys were doing on the TV. What I'm saying is this, as my own personal contribution is this. We are not going to throw away the baby and the bath water. together with the bath water. Mm -hmm. The policy in itself is very, very good. If we are looking at today's global economy. Then let's look at it again in this direction for those who are saying it's a total sabotage because of the forthcoming election. My question is, who are we sabotaging? Oh. Is it the politicians or Nigerians? Mm. Indeed, we all know the election in Nigeria, how we have been crying concerning the monetization. And everybody wants a clean, clear and fair election, election mm -hmm. that will usher in a new Nigeria. Then, if at all, or even if someone is insinuating that this is the cause of the election, mm -hmm. is it wrong for us to have clean, clear, world accepted election? Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I mean, there are agitations around mm -hmm. these elections, honestly speaking, and everybody's thinking, but really, I asked that same question. Who exactly is the, the, the target for this scarcity? Who plays money politics, right? Who is the target? But you see, today, you know, talking about affecting, so my carpenter is supposed to come. I'm doing some work, you know, renovations. My carpenter is supposed to come in from Kaduna. Mm. He couldn't come in, so I had to send money to a POS vendor so he could collect cash from the vendor. You understand? This thing is beyond just elections. So if truly this thing is targeted at, you know, keeping money politics out of this 2023 election, it's affecting every other thing. Business, look at what the, the business did and said about the percentage of um, patronage and percentage of consumer goods and all of that dropping. You understand? Those are facts. And I think that percentage is even way lower. You understand? Because really, in the real sense of it, it would affect much more. Mm -hmm. You know, so how do we come out of this? You know, how do we start? Voucher, I would not really suggest voucher because Nigeria, I say if it is electronic voucher that they don't need to use money. So do you understand? Which is still part of the... Because I don't understand how a country, even this money that they picked, the country used money to, to print the... That was obscene <laughs> but i think we have obina again from abuja There's another obina okay different obina thank you for calling hmm. today is day of obina yeah hello hi obina yeah thank you go ahead you're live hi yeah um thank you thank you right um the casual policy is uh it's a great one. Yeah. However, as you already mentioned, <laughs> of, um, people who are not 
the main charges are being affected. Yeah. Just because of repercussions that were not anticipated. Thank you. Thank you. I think your line is a bit um, muffled. But I think, like he rightly said, yeah. it's the wrong people that are being affected. Yeah, I think, I think basically um, they should pump more money into the system. Because if you look at it, these, the people that are suffering it, it's not like they're trying to be thrown more than 20k. Let's be honest out of it. But we also have that culture that it's something new. So even the people, everybody's just panicking because it's like you don't have it. There have been times when, you know, maybe casually we've not gone to the ATM for one week and nothing happened. But the fact that we actually know that there's no cash, it's actually a panic mode in us to say, ah, ah, the skew on ATM. I have 4,000 there. The skew on ATM. There's... Uh, every day I look at her and smile. I'm, yes, but I'm sure there, there are times you've actually survived. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's I've not always happened. survived without cash. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, like, I feel like these people are also on panic mode to say, they just don't want to give us money. They just don't want to give us money. There's no money. There's no money. There's no money. Fine. Mm. I think what CBN can do is let's pump more money. I'll, 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 I'll add to that. Re but let me take Godwin uh, okay. from Benin. You're live. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Owa. Hi. Good evening. Yeah. Thank you very much. The cashless policy is actually a laudable policy, but one, the timing is wrong. Okay. Two, have the government put the necessary structure to accommodate cashless. this cashless policy? You try to make a transfer, it's very difficult to get through. Number three, what measures are they put in place to track down prostars? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What measures have they put in place to cut, to track down prostars? Because now the big problem that we have in our hands is what we are seeing. We have some people that are cabals of cabals. We will need to catch those people. I was going to say to Mary that adding to what you said about pumping in money. I think the solution would be, we already have modes of dispensing money. Mm -hmm. Most of these people that are chasing whatever, they have access to the ATM. Mm -hmm. If you even say, restrict the account electronically in a way that mm -hmm. from your bank, um, from your bank, they would have done the way you have a daily limit of 20 yeah, so limit, every, li limit everybody's withdrawal to 10K. I know. You're not, no, I'm saying to you, Limit everybody and then load the money in the ATMs and force people to go and get the ATMs card. I mean ATM card. Okay. At least for the people like the Ialata and all those mm -hmm. people that are carrying load, they my ten thousand that I have withdrawn, I'll be able to pay her. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But everybody not having money is chaotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you get? Mm -hmm. So even if you say you want to restrict it, restrict it. Just say okay, you know what? Let me restrict the money that Ichinelo goes. No, she can go every day. But on a daily basis, it's just 10K that's her limit. Yeah, 20K, you was, 20K. Why are you increasing it to 20K? <laughs> you are the one that has to go cashless. You know See, she's changing her mouth here. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Say, wait, yeah, let me take Echo from Potaco. No, you are the one that says she should go cashless. 10K. Echo, if you are live. 20K. Hello? Did we lose him? Hi, good evening, ladies. Hi, Equal from Potakot. Good evening. Go ahead, you're live. Hi, good evening, ladies. Go ahead, you're live. Can you hear me? We can hear you live. Okay, so this, this um, policy is a very, very laudable... This policy is a very laudable policy. But like every other caller has said, the timing is very, very wrong. I would personally prefer after the election, this policy would probably kick off. Yeah, if you see good. how people are suffering in protocol, I don't know where, I don't know somewhere else. If you see how people are suffering in protocol, mm. it's quite unfortunate that this is happening. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, the, if they do it after election, 
the, the whole the, the bags of money are still going to roll yes. out. Because I was even hearing the other day that um, the iPod um, um, community or whatever, they came out of the road and they were handing out cash to people. It was almost like a hundred thousand dollar, a hundred thousand naira, you know, cash to people to, because they don't have how to, you know, dispose of the money. The money has gone extinct. So, I mean, and that's what the government wants. But like every other caller has said, I guess the timing and maybe there was, there was really no preparation for the masses that do not have accounts and all of that. So CBN should either come up with, you know, a solution to that. Either there will be like a different account, like you said, like a lower account that has lower charges to accommodate these people. Not lower charges, zero charges. Mm -hmm. Come on. A woman that is selling corn, you cannot charge her one penny from that money. Yeah. Yeah. That is only that's the only reason she will not put her money in the bank. Right? You must be able to give them anybody that is their transaction, maybe their daily transaction or their overall um what's it called turnover. Maybe it's like 10k or 5k per day. What do you want to charge inside that money? For goodness sake. We have Kem from Delta. You're live. Good evening. Yeah, I'm calling. Go ahead, your line is a bit. I'll say the money is about the cash the cash problem. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh the problem is that it is only affecting not really the not really the politicians. I'm sorry, Ken, we can't about. really hear you. It's a bit muffled. Maybe if you can try to call back the line I can't even hear what he's making making I'm saying. So this one is hitting everybody. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not it's like it everybody. is hitting one person yeah, it, and it's hitting everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. The billionaires are all of us. We don't need the same level. We're all cashless. <laughs> you know, which is good. Everybody's on the playing field. But uh, the, the point I, that I, I was saying that let's have, you know, zero, zero charges for those people. Then they'll be encouraged to open those banks. So when their business grows and they are saying, okay, the turnover is getting, you can now introduce maybe one, one nera kind of charge. But you, if you say you want to charge them money for maintaining that account, then you can never ever have them put their money no, in the bank. Well, already, there are, there are banks that offer those services. Is zero for balance for opening of the account. Oh. Do they have for no? There are hidden charges. Yeah, well, this is well, if they send SMS, they will, they will they'll charge, charge you. <laughs> yeah, but then those people, I mean, it costs money to run these things, right? So you don't expect that they won't charge them at all. I don't think they shouldn't charge them. I think that they should charge them, but maybe a lesser amount than what they would charge. So create an account or a type of account for those kind of people and say, okay, so now if you belong to this category and then you open this account, if normally you charge four naira for SMS charges, don't you're charge charging them, them at all. maybe one naira or something. Let me take Chris from Delta. Don't charge them. Ah, you're not ready. <laughs> Their accounts are broader. Oh. People, they don't charge them one couple. Thank you for joining us, Chris. You're live. Okay. Thank you very much for the great work you are doing. Thank you. I said this situation has just shown us that the banks are also not ready. Their bandwidth is too small. Hence, all of them are having problems this time when the cash situation is much in the country. Thank you. Thank you. Jennifer, let me hear your final thoughts as we are winding down. <laughs> Honestly, I, I actually feel bad for a lot of these um, petty traders because like she said, she said, oh, they are just panicking. And I don't think, I don't think their panic is out of place mm. because if, if, if you're always used to having cash, even if it's 1,000 or 2,000 naira, and then all of a sudden it's like that is entirely cut off. You're thinking, oh, how am I going to do business? How am I going to be able to trade? How do I get this from this person? At the end of the day, if you go to the market, you start seeing people taking things on credit because, oh, I don't have cash to actually pay you right now. I also don't have an account. So either they have to call their children that is somewhere that has an account to send the money to them. Okay, I will pay you back. And then you have people owing people here and there. And then it becomes a very long a very long chain and i don't think that's what we want to see and honestly i feel like if you're going to enforce a policy like this like the other caller said you have to actually put um structures in place and this is something you need to ease people, people into, into. You, you can't just enforce it just like that because sometimes you're like you need to 
ask did you people actually analyze the data what insights are you working with mm -hmm. did you actually check the demography did you check um the businesses that you have in your country to be to able to say oh in one month we can cut this off mm. i'm not sure they did their due diligence in my opinion mm. Chinelo, how are you? As usual, to continue from where they first. <laughs> they did not do any analysis. They didn't. Do, they didn't do all that um, business insights, and mm. they did nothing. I mean, if you go abroad, people don't pay for um, um, train there and then now. They, you have e wallets, you have cards. There's Apple Pay. Those things work. Hmm. So if you want to do that in Nigeria, you want Nigeria to actually work on a cashless policy, then create infrastructure like that. God bless you. Simple. Let me take Ado Ibrahim. Is a presidential candidate? Okay. What party? Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Yeah. My name is Malika Do Ibrahim. I'm the presidential candidate for YPP. Oh, okay. Nice to meet My you. My wife is a great viewer of your show, so oh. I'm looking to get into this conversation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you all? We're good. Hello. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Let's ladies, hear your what thoughts. What a great topic. Um, we are really in some serious problems at the moment, and the country doesn't seem to be being governed by anybody who gives a damn about the normal ordinary Nigeria. Um, there's no apology for what's going on. We're talking about uh, trying to, I guess, punish somebody. But in punishing one person, you're punishing millions of Nigerians. Uh, this is an unfair policy. It's ill thought of. Nobody in their right mind should be able to change a currency within this short period of time mm. and cause such panic. The British are changing from the queen to the king. And they, this is an orderly conduct. Everybody understands it. This is not the first country to change currency. Absolutely. Why must the ordinary Nigerian mm. suffer through this? Mm. And in, the, in case the government is not paying attention, this is what revolutions are made of. It wow. may not be something violent, but it could certainly be something that overthrows the government. I was just going to ask you: Do you do you also believe that this is this has a pre, um, um, political undertone? There's no doubt about it, uh, and, and I'll give you the, the main premise for this. So-called opposition parties, are they making any comment? There is nobody uh, doing what a normal opposition party would, would do, which is to go to the public, uh, make sure that the public understands that this is a problem, have sympathy, have empathy. Nobody's doing that. Everybody's pointing at one man, and they're glad he's not using money politics. But you know what? Millions of people are literally suffering from the last three or four days because of this selfishness. Thank you so much. We hope to have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you left. I'll be happy to come. But ladies, you're doing a great job. And Nigerians, we feel for you. Um, this is not a simple thing. It's complicated. But I just pray to God that we can find a way that can ease the pain that everyone's feeling, rich or poor. Absolutely. This is a very uh, difficult situation for Nigeria two weeks before uh, an election. Excellent. So Thank um, you so much. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much for bringing this out to the public. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. I mean, Mary. <laughs> Final word. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Our phone line. Um, all I can say is... Um, I think it will be over soon. I know it's really hard. I sympathize with everybody. It's happening. It's <laughs> affecting each and every one of us. Um, let's not form about it. It's affecting mm. me too, you know. But I hope that over time, more um, current, more Nara notes will be released into the system. So at least everybody can calm down. Let people be able to withdraw, even if it's 10K. Or let's even see the 10K or 20K to withdraw. So that's the and thing. You understand that. Populate. You know, so, so that it can help to calm us down. Yeah. Do you secretly work with CBN? It's <laughs> <laughs> a valid question. What do you have? Do you have sticks? Do you have shares there? You never can tell me. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was going to say that. I mean, if, if CBN, right, and the banks just cooperate, you see all this rush. Like you rightly said, the, there's paranoia. Mm -hmm. That's what is causing the panic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I know that every day I go to any ATM, I'm allowed to take 5,000 air, all this panic will calm down. Yeah. It is the fact that I cannot take 5,000 there. Yeah. And it, <laughs> in fact, this matter is plenty. So they, they, there was someone that was seen that had 
20 ATM cards it was withdrawn because since the limit is this, you should use. <laughs> in fact, we can't finish this matter. I'm sorry we couldn't take messages today. We, we really ran out of time. But I think this matter will continue next week. Yeah. If there's this scarcity of money, I'll continue to come. It'll be done. It'll be done. Are you sure? By, week. by the weekend. Okay, okay, let's pray so. We'll continue the matter tomorrow, Sha. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not something we don't know. Maybe not something that we are not aware of. Maybe not we don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. We had a fantastic conversation. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed the quote for today, here it is again. No complaint is more common than that of a scarcity of money. I mean, we are seeing it clearly play out here. But we'll see you guys live tomorrow. Hopefully we're not discussing money matter. <laughs> At 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>